Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So round one of the Cersei arena is over. Cersei was the featured, and Stealth Suit Spidey was the basic. I already have Stealth Suit Spidey as a six star, and he's awakened. Cersei, I will be going for round two as a five star. So I only went for the shards, one to 5%. That's all I really wanted from these arenas. And of course the units. Now you can see here, I put in a five win streak on the Sunday arena. I don't normally do that. I don't touch these arenas. However, arena wins popped up right after I was already done with all of my grind. So I was like, well, I'll just do a little bit. Um, it was also in the Alliance uh, objective. So I was like, let me do a little bit just to put some points up. Uh, let me show you real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So see, Arena wins. Just did a little bit just to say I did. Um, and this, we'll have to look over here. Yeah, Arena Combat four hours ago. And so I just put up a little bit just to say I did. That, that's This is the worst timing. I hate that because I'm already done. There's no reason for me. I could grind again and just, you know, run through my five, my uh, six stars in that arena and uh, be fine. Maybe I'll do that if I get really bored. Um, but it's a nice lazy Sunday. Uh, that's why this video is a little bit later than uh, it could have been. Fresh out the shower, so I'm a little bit more wide awake than I was earlier. Uh, but anyway, let's find out uh, if I got those shards. I should have, uh, unless something phenomenal happened. All right, yes. So I got the shards in both the arenas. And of course, I got all the milestones there. I did the T4 basic long time ago. All right, so first, let's take a look at the basic arena. And I put up the same score I normally put up. And I haven't, I don't think I've missed putting up that uh, amount yet. Um, I don't think I've missed yet. Uh, and in fact, I have sometimes gotten the champion as a five star by accident. Um, but let's see who went for this stealth suit Spidey and got them. I know not everybody likes him. I'm not a big fan of stealth suit Spidey consigliere. Congratulations on that six star stealth suit Spidey. Uh, I'm not a great fan of his, um, but I do know he's good. Uh, he also has high prestige. So if all I wanted was to eke out as much prestige as I could possibly get uh, quickly, I could rank him up as well because he has good prestige and he's already awakened. But no. Uh, I have him maxed out as a five star and I used him. I tried him in, uh, I forget which, um, content, uh, big sexy. What it do? Congratulations, man. Uh, I don't remember which content, whether it was a variant or, um, or a side quest or, uh, uh, or, or, a event quest, but I didn't really like him. I didn't like him as I was using him. You know, uh, the main thing about him was I had to finish off the combo in order to be able to apply the slow. And when I was fighting, I actually needed the slow and I wasn't able to apply it properly. Um, and I forget why it was either the node or the champion I was fighting uh, made it difficult to do what I needed to do to get the slow on. So if I ever need, absolutely need a slow, I'm not going to look for Stealth Suit Spidey. I'll look for um, She-Hulk. You know, I'll, I'll even look for, um, what's his name? Uh, Silver Centurion. You know, people that have an easy access to slow. You know, Spider-Gwen. You know, you don't have to do a combo or, you know, do anything to maintain it or anything like that. So if I really need a slow, unless something about the node prevents me from using uh, one of those champions that have easy access to slow, 
I'm just going to use them. I'm not going to use uh, Stealth Suit Spidey. You know, I, I took him up as a five star, tried him out, used him a little bit. That was back when uh, I wasn't focused so much on uh, six stars. So when I did get him as a six star and then I awakened him, I was just like, meh, because I already knew I wasn't going to use him. I didn't use the five star. All right. Uh, but anyway, Punix. You are the final one to get a Stealth Suit Spidey in round one of the arena. So now, let's take a look at who's Mr. or Mrs. 101. Oh, Culeador. Oh, wait. Culeador? I don't know if I mangled your name, but I'm sorry, bro. Let's see who else. Oh, I can't say that name for sure. Um... I'm pretty sure these guys were going for the six star. So my condolences. You know, a little later down, I don't know. These guys might have been going for the five star, just putting up as much as they could uh, just to see. Uh, that's something that I do uh, infrequently. I'll just, you know, if I'm going for a champion, I'll just go all out just to see what I'm capable of doing. You know, in the basic arena, I wanted to see what I could put up without, you know, refreshing or boosting. If I was able to get everything, you know, scheduled on time, run through all of them. And uh, that's not something I'm going to do every time, of course. Uh, you'll get burned out real quick doing that. Uh, but I would do that just so that I would have a good idea so that when a champion comes around like Hercules and I want them, I can see what they go for round one, and I'll be able to tell, is that a score that I'll be able to put up with, you know, maybe a few units or something like that, if it's, you know, really high, or is it something I could do without units at all? I'll know that. So it's, it's useful. It's useful to do that uh, every now and again as your roster grows, uh, just to see what you can do. And you don't have to do it all three days. You can just go all out one day and get an idea, you know, if you're able to do that all three days, what your score would be. But I tend to do it when I'm going for a champion, may as well. And uh, I have gone for a couple of champions in this arena. Um, I got Colossus out of this arena. All right, so that is it for... Uh, the leaderboards in the basic arena, 201 to 500, also get the champion, uh, get a five-star champion. So now let's see who got Cersei as a six-star. All right, so that's the score I put up, just running my six stars like four times through um, and then stop. I could run them more, but... Unless I'm actually going for the five star, I'm not going to do that. But I will go for her round uh, two. Now, so far this year, this is November now, I have gone for and gotten every new champion that has come out this year as a five star. I am boycotting six stars in this arena, not going for them. Uh, I was tempted, very, very tempted uh, to break that boycott when I saw how low uh, Dr. Voodoo was going. Ribbon the Rock, congratulations, man. Uh, and I and I would have loved a Dr. Voodoo. But in this arena, no. No, no thank you. Juan Jacques, congratulations. So, uh, five star, I will be going for uh, next round. ID Slim, congratulations, man. Uh, and, you know, hopefully picking her up. I don't think she'll go really high. Uh, between her and Icarus, I think there's more hype for her uh, than uh, for Icarus. Dr. Lee Muete. Ooh. Fire. Um, so I don't know really uh, anything about either of them. Uh, Sanmyo, congratulations. But... You know, just listening to people talk in different uh, chat groups and stuff that I'm a part of, uh, it seems like she's the one. Uh, and I've seen like maybe one or two videos 
uh, showcasing her damage. And it seems like people like her more than they like Icarus. So uh, she may go higher than Icarus. We'll see. Uh, of course, the six star scores are crazy. But all right. I don't know how to say that. But you are the last person to get the six star Cersei in round one. Let's see who's Mr. or Mrs. 101. Ah, El Yorch. El Yorch. I am so sorry, man. 101, not a place I ever want to be. That's just painful, man. Because uh, especially in the six-star arena, I know you put up a high score. But uh, she may have gone low. Maybe maybe she went lower than uh, I'm thinking that she went. But most of these new champions, uh, Black Gamer, congratulations, man. Most of these new champions are going for like 150 plus. So... You know, especially if they're a new champion and if they have any kind of hype around them, that seems to be what they're going for. So, yeah, Sir Mac a lot. Really? Really? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, I didn't see anybody else that I recognized. Um, wait, here's one I recognize. Native. Congratulations on that five star. I'm pretty sure you've got the uh, the roster that if you were really going for the six star, you would have gotten them. So uh, congratulations on that five star uh, round two. That, that'll be that'll be me. All right. Let's see, Sammy APG, congratulations on that uh, five star. Another one that I know uh, probably went for the five star uh, who has a roster that could get that six star. All right, so down here, I'm pretty fairly sure that these guys were just going for the five star. I could be wrong, but yeah. Ben Riley, what? Haven't seen your name in a little while, man. Uh, congratulations on that five star. Dynamics, congratulations on the five star, man. All right, we're getting down. Mamet, I see you. Congrats on that five star. All right, so that is it for the leaderboards, the results. Um, 201 to 500 also got the five star. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving me a like. It really helps out. All right, take care. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me already, feel free to give me a subscription. Uh, these videos aren't as popular as like my crystal openings. Uh, even my war videos uh, tend to be a little bit more popular, but I do a variety of videos. Um, I haven't done uh, the how-to videos uh, and um, champion videos in a little bit, but I'm going to get back to making a, a few of those as well. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.